Welcome to another development update for Aquanox Deep Descent. In today's video, I wanted to give you all a glimpse into how destruction happens in the world of Aqua. The various weapon systems that are in the game. Because there are quite a few, this time around I will focus on a few of my favorites from each weapon type. Now the weapons in Deep Descent can be mounted in pairs and have various synergies with each other. This means some weapons will work better with others, while some weapons also work great while dual wielding the same weapon. The Raker is a torpedo launcher type weapon. As all the various torpedo weapons, it is great at fighting enemies at mid to long range. Torpedo type weapons have a powerful homing ability that can be very useful to hit enemies that are more mobile. While homing, the breaker is very powerful, but it is easy to miss with it if you're not careful. Enemies can dodge the projectile if they dodge at the right moment. Try to predict the enemy and fire the projectile accordingly. Some crazy aquanauts like to use a dual breaker combo. This is quite a powerful loadout, but be ready if enemies come in close. The Hazard is a weaponized nanoplankton canister launcher created by various pirate clans. It launches canisters filled with nanoplankton with its primary combat function, which are to stick to the enemy hull and explode after a short period of time, dealing damage instantly, as well as over time as the nanoplankton dissipates around the point of explosion. You can detonate hazard canisters mid-travel by using the secondary combat function. This will detonate any mid-travel or already attached canisters. The hazard deals damage over time with the nanoplankton cloud it leaves behind, so it's a great weapon to keep an enemy shield from regenerating, as well as controlling the battlefield. A marvel of engineering, the shard weapon system of the clan's union is often called sudden death due to its long range and high impact damage. A perfect weapon for CU's defense mentality, this weapon will bring down any potential enemies before they get too close. The shard is a medium to long range weapon that uses electromagnetic discharges to propel heavy metal slabs at over 8000 km per hour obliterating the target. The best long-range combo with the Shard is the Breaker, as they are both quite effective at range. If timed right, the slower traveling torpedo and the fast Shard projectile can hit at the same time to deal massive damage to an unsuspecting target. Shard projectiles are fast and deal a lot of damage, but be careful, it takes time to charge up the weapon for a new shot. The EMP cannon version of the shard is a powerful shield buster weapon that can obliterate most enemy shields in just one shot. Combining the EMP cannon with a regular shard is a really powerful combination. The shrapnel is an invention perfectly fitting for armored ships exchanging fire up close in person. It is perfect for close range combat as it delivers a hail of metal scrap onto the target. This weapon deals damage based on each chunk of metal that it shoots out. The more of those chunks lands on your enemy, the higher damage will be delivered. This can be done the best at close range as the weapon fires in a cone shape. The further the target, the less hits will land. It works wonders if you have an enemy trying to get away with low ship health left, as hitting the target is easier due to the wide cone spread of the weapon. Shrapnel has a low rate of fire, so either dual wield it for a constant barrage of damage or combine it with either a hazard or a stingray for some medium to close range fun. The stingray is a close to medium range weapon that fires projectiles at a very high rate, making it an ideal weapon against fast moving targets. 
It is great for medium range fighting, but it can be good for close range as well. However, if the enemy gets really close, it's much better to use a shrapnel instead. Most shields will reactivate quickly if they don't take any damage for a short period. Stingray is ideal to keep an enemy shield under damage to prevent it from regenerating. Stingray, due to its high fire rate and high projectile speed, is probably one of the best weapons to be paired alongside other weapons. There is no better counter against an annoying flanking scout than a Stingray Shrapnel combo or just a dual Stingray. Thank you for joining us for another development video and I am looking forward to having you for our next one.